Hey guys, I am out and about with my little Pentax K1000. I'm going to be shooting some uh, Ferrania P30 again. And the reason why I'm going to be shooting some uh, P30 is because there was a little bit of chatter on the Fo Fo Trio forum the other day about uh, P30 and um, it's ISO. ISO is of 80, but people who use it, myself included, it's not an it's not an ISO 80 film. For me, it performs way better uh, at an EI of about 32. On the Fotrio site, apparently, someone got some information from a Ferrania engineer saying that uh, you can hit an ISO 80 if you give it a pre bath in water. I'll read directly. Someone who spoke with engineers at Ferrania. It's paramount for P30 to have a pre-bath of five minutes because the gelatin used in the emulsion making is synthetic. The Ferrania engineers said that the particular spectral response and the ISO speed of 80 is due to that synthetic gelatin Otherwise, the spectral response would be affected and the 80 ISO not achieved. So basically, it's saying you have to give. The engineers are saying you have to give P30 a pre-bath in water in order to maintain its spectral response and an ISO of 80. I've never heard of that. I mean, is that r really true? It's very interesting. So much so that I've decided to go out, shoot it like I normally would, head back to the darkroom, cut it in half. One half I'm going to give a pre-bath and I'll develop in D23. The other half I'm not going to give it a pre-bath and I'll develop that also in D23. And I'll compare the two. I'm kind of looking forward to this test. A part of me is very, very actually a huge part of me is very very skeptical I just can't see this happening I've got to scratch that curiosity itch right anyways I'm gonna get out there do it and I will share the results with you Pleasantly surprised to see that their film canister is reloadable. Look at that. The cap just pops off, lid goes back on. Now we just need for Ferrania to give us bulk film. Come on, Ferrania.